Hello students, in this video we are going to discuss about a question from moment of inertia where we have an equilateral triangle with a triangular hole which was asked in JE main exam two times. Let us read the question. An equilateral triangle ABC is cut from a thin solid sheet of wood. So, this triangle ABC is a triangular plate which is cut from a sheet of wood. Now, DEF are the midpoints of its sides as shown. This DEF are the midpoints and G is the center of the triangle. This G is the center or centroid of the equilateral triangle ABC. The moment of inertia of the triangle about an axis passing through G and perpendicular to the plane of the triangle is I0. That means if the axis rotation is passing through G and the triangle is rotating like this clockwise or anticlockwise about this axis which is perpendicular to the plane of the page. So the moment of inertia of the triangle ABC is I0. If the smaller triangle DEF is removed from ABC, now we make a triangular hole, DEF portion is cut and removed. So you know DEF will also be an equilateral triangle. So that is removed. If the smaller triangle DEF is removed from ABC, then the moment of inertia of the remaining figure about the same axis is I. Then what is the value of I out of these options? Let us start solving the question. See, one thing should be noted that this G which is the centroid of the whole triangle ABC when there was no, when this DEF was not cut from it. And after cutting this triangle DEF, this G is the centroid of the DEF as well. Okay, let's look at this solution now. We know that the moment of inertia of any object can be written as moment of inertia I is equal to a constant into mass into length square. Let me elaborate this statement. See here example. You know, if there is a rod, then moment of inertia about the center is 1 by 12 ml square. So, this constant is 1 by 12, mass is m and square of length. Similarly, rod about one end, 1 by 3 ml square, 1 by 3 is the constant, mass, length square. As you see, all these remaining formulae, like circular disc, 1 by 2 mr square, so the constant into mass into length square, this radius is like length, dimension of radius is length only. Circular ring, mr square, here the constant is 1, 1 into mr square, solid sphere 2 by 5 mr square, hollow sphere 2 by 3 mr square. In this way, can we say that moment of inertia of any object in general can be written as beta into mr square where beta is the constant, m is the mass and r is either the radius or the length. As you can see, moment of inertia of all the bodies can be expressed like beta into mr square. Beta is the constant, either it could be 1 by 12, 1 by 3, 1 by 2, 1 or 2 by 5, 2 by 3, these are values of beta, mass, m and square of the length or the radius. Therefore, now we, what we will do that for this equilateral triangle, we will be writing its moment of inertia. Moment of inertia of the whole triangular plate without the cut, that means when this DEF is not made, when this triangle was full, whole, then what would have been the moment of inertia? That would be beta ml square. We don't know what this beta is because in order to obtain this uh, beta, we have to do integral calculus to solve this for entire thing, but we don't have time to do that in the J exam. So, let us say some constant is that beta, okay, beta into ml square, where L is the length of this triangle, this length BC is the length or AB is the length, B, AC is the length. The moment of inertia of this whole triangle can be written as beta into ml square. Now, which is given the question as I0. Now, what is the moment of inertia of this small triangle that has been cut and removed from here? That will be the moment of inertia of the triangle DEF, which is also an equilateral triangle. So, if DEF is an equilateral triangle, then the formula for the moment of inertia must be the same beta ml square. Like think about a rod, whether the rod is 1 meter long or 2 meter long or 10 meter long. The moment of inertia of the rod will be given always by 1 by 12 ml square. So, whether the triangle equilateral triangle is having the length L or length L by 2, 
DEF triangle will have length L by 2, L by 2 and L by 2. Okay. So, the formula structure would be the same. Therefore, the same constant beta because this beta is the constant for the equilateral triangle. So, even for small equilateral triangle also same constant beta into the mass. Now, the mass of this triangle DEF will be one fourth of the mass as you can see that the area out of the total area the triangle DEF has one fourth area. So, mass will be one by four and the base length of this triangle or the side length of the triangle is L by two so L by two whole square. Now, let us solve this. Here you will get 2 square 4, 4 into 4, 16. So, you will get 1 by 16 beta ml square. But the value of beta ml square is I naught. So, we get 1 by 16 I naught. So, the moment of inertia of the whole triangle ABC is I naught. And the moment of inertia of this small triangle DEF is 1 by 16 I naught. Now, since the moment of inertia is being calculated about the same axis G for both of them. G is not only the centroid for the bigger triangle, G is also the centroid for the triangle DEF. Therefore, therefore the formula for moment of inertia of both of them should be given by the same same uh, formula that means beta ml square. Okay. Thus, the final answer is that moment of inertia of the remaining object must be the moment of inertia of the bigger triangle minus the moment of inertia of this small triangle about the same axis. So, therefore, moment of inertia of remaining triangle is a tri moment of inertia of ABC minus moment of inertia of DEF that is I naught minus 1 by 16 I naught which will be 16 minus 1 15 15 by 16 times of I naught. This is the answer of the problem.